Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Oops, I forgot, I, I need a battery. Oh, excuse me, I need another battery. You know what? I might need one more battery and a charger. I've actually got two camera bodies, so I'm gonna need another battery and another charger. I don't even know where that charger and battery went. <laughs> well, if, if you can relate to this, this has been my life for the past, I don't know, three, four years, trying to find batteries. Like, and then you throw in an action camera, a charging hub or mobile battery, maybe an LED panel, other cameras, drone batteries, it can all add up and it is hard <laughs> to keep track of what is where. And I finally had enough, so I put together a centralized battery charging station right here behind me. Now, full disclosure, not only was I a complete unorganized mess with this stuff, batteries and chargers, I was also pretty uh, disorganized <laughs> with my cameras and lenses. So I went ahead and put in some shelving here to try and help uh, alleviate that problem as well. But what I'm gonna do is just show you all the products, parts and pieces that I use to put all this stuff together and how easy it is to do just that, as well as uh, fairly inexpensively. So we'll take a look at all of that after we roll that intro. I can sit here and play with these hue, actually over here, these hue light bulbs all day long. How about, oh, we'll leave it right there for now. All right, so to start, the uh, main platform uh, for what I'm put together is based on these metal uh, pegboards. Uh, and these, th I got these at uh, Lowe's Hardware here in town for, I guess I think they were just a little over 10 bucks. Uh, so super cheap. Uh, you can put as many of these together as you want. Uh, right here, I've just got two uh, to demonstrate how these things work. Over here, I've got uh, three panels going across horizontally. Uh, in another section on the other side of my studio, I actually just have one solo unit because uh, it's 16 by 16 inch panel and it's plenty of room to uh, function on its own, or you can obviously make them as, as massive an installation uh, as you would like. Uh, first, let me shout out to uh, Becky and Chris, their uh, YouTube channel. This is kind of where uh, this idea sprang to, to life. In the back of my head, I knew I needed to get my act together, uh, just keeping these batteries uh, organized. And uh, they put up a video a couple weeks back. It kind of uh, triggered <laughs> something in me to finally uh, get motivated to uh, organize myself. So anyway, we'll start with, with these two panels here. And uh, as you can see, I've got a top down view here. Uh, they just, then they come with all the hardware you need here on the back. 
uh, and they'll have two little screws that you can use to uh, mount uh, this seam right here, uh, which I'm not gonna do right now, but you can see how that goes. Or if you're gonna mount on top of each other or two rows, they've got little tabs uh, on each end and a little insert right there. Um, where you can mount them that way as well. The cool thing about these too is they mount off the wall, if you can see that there. Traditional pegboard, uh, you would have to build like a framework behind it in order to get hooks through the little uh, holes in these. But these mount off the wall, so you're good to go um, to hook, to run hooks, run cables, uh, whatever you'd like to do. Uh, it's just you stick these up and um, you know, you're ready to roll. But First of all, what we need to do is we need to bring power uh, to these panels. And with them uh, being metal, I figured the best way to do it would be to use a magnetized, and it's magnetized everything over here, a magnetized power strip. <clears throat> this one's made by Craftsman. It's around 25 bucks. I also got a um, another less expensive version off Amazon. I'll link all this stuff below, by the way, uh, where I put uh, uh, magnets that have adhesive on them. It's just magnet magnetic strips. And I taped them onto the uh, back of the outlet and it works just fine. Uh, I can maybe show you over there in a minute. But the thing that, uh, in my opinion, what you wanna look for uh, is make sure these outlets are running this way and not the other way because when you put these chargers on, if you had to plug it in this way, you're gonna lose half of your uh, your strip here. Whereas with these, you lose maybe uh, one, actually I'll probably put that on that, that end, and you're losing one extra plug. So that's something to look at when you are shopping these plugs. But uh, we'll go ahead and slap this on. Let's just, we'll put it right here in the middle. You can hear that. It's This plug's not going anywhere, so it'll take it with it uh, if you try to pull it off. Uh, but so we've got that there, and then there are plenty of other organizational elements you can get. One that Becky and Chris had on their channel was just this letter organizer. Uh, and I used two of these over there, but the trick is with these, you're gonna have to kind of lay it out uh, where you, know, you feel like you're gonna want that prior to, because you have to use zip ties to keep that on. Let me get my zip ties. All right, so for this guy here, you will need uh, some zip ties and just run them through uh, the grates, uh, the little openings in the mesh here. Uh, if your zip ties are a little bit bigger like mine were, I just punched um, two holes in with a screwdriver uh, and placed them in here. What these do, these are great for, say like these battery packs, you can slide them in here. Also little mini LED panels, they slide in here so you can fit a lot of different things in a small footprint uh, on uh, these panels. So it, it is a, a, a neat thing to have, uh, although it's just a little bit harder to uh, place those on uh, these boards, but we'll stick that there for now. Something else I found actually at Lowe's when I got these panels, uh, they had these baskets and these are great. I put uh, like my battery cases and, and stuff, some miscellaneous odds and ends on uh, in one of the cases over here and in one of the baskets uh, over here and that goes in just like that. Uh, another thing I found on Amazon are some of these plastic kind of shelving little and they've got lips on them so you can kind of stick things in them uh, over here. I've got these uh, pretty much um, I'm where I'm using them for my the batteries after they're charged and they come out of the chargers and I'll place them in uh, these little units here. So it sits like that. You got a charged battery. You can place them there. Obviously it's not gonna work as well because we're <laughs> flat on the ground. Uh, another pickup I made on uh, Amazon, a pack of these. These come out to probably three, four dollars a piece. Uh, just hooks and these might, um, You'll see, uh, if you didn't already, the uh, like the DJI controller, uh, drone controller, fits great on these types of hooks. For other possible odds and ends, uh, they do have these packs, these multi-packs of all assorted hooks. Uh, even some of these uh, longer ones where you can actually put shelves on top of. 
Uh, I didn't use any of these. I kind of, I'm kind of digging the uh, matte black finish here. So I didn't uh, use any of those hooks um, that came out of that pack. But what I did find out is you, they come with these plastic anchor pieces. And when running some of the wires uh, from uh, some of the different areas, you know, they, the wires tend to kind of hang down. Uh, and I was able to use these to kind of anchor. They go in holes like that. And uh, what they're normally used for are these hooks and they keep the hooks from swaying. But so I placed them in here and used them to uh, keep the cables kind of in place and just doing my best to try to neaten things up. Uh, I'm still got some work to do with my cable management, but uh, this turned out to be a pretty uh, neat little tool. Also, uh, cable management, you can just get these Velcro type straps uh, and then try to combine your, your cables. Um, you can run these, like I mentioned before, you could run this kind of back behind the panel and then bring it over. Um, Another thing you can do if you've got the uh, battery chargers uh, that have like the uh, bricks uh, and the larger chargers, you can just get some uh, Velcro strips and put Velcro on the backs of those and then place them on here um, wherever you, know, you see fit. Uh, and that's for me, I'm on the road probably too much to do that unless I had two sets of chargers, which I don't. Uh, so you'll see over here, I've, I've kind of used a uh, shelf where I'll place those uh, units with the extra bricks and the larger uh, chargers just kind of on that shelf right below uh, this, this kind of panel system here. Uh, so I don't have to un-Velcro them and Velcro them back and that type of thing when I get you know, in and out from jobs on the road. So uh, that's pretty much a brief you know, summary of this. You can see, I mean, it's basically um, totally up to you, totally customizable. You can be as creative as you want on this. Uh, you can put lights behind here. Uh, over here, I mounted those uh, hue lights uh, above um, you know, this panel system. Uh, and they are the Philips hue lights, which I can change the, all the colors as I was fooling with earlier, uh, the brightness. Um, and they are just, I've actually <laughs> uh, placed them all over my studio here and kind of transformed the whole space using those hue bulbs. But anyway, Let's jump from here to over there real quick and I'll show you kind of how I have things put together. Uh, the thought process uh, with, with kind of this uh, station that I've got going on here is that I'll have everything centralized and so I can put my camera bag here uh, either when I need to load up or I'm unloading and I've got my cameras and lenses there batteries, chargers, and everything over there. Uh, when I'm working here in the studio, there's my tether station, and then the shooting space is over that way. Uh, but so that's kind of the thought process on how I laid this out. Uh, but let's run in, we'll move in close and look at this panel, the charging station, uh, and I'll show you how I have it set up and uh, my thought process on everything. So I've got my R5 batteries charging on this strip here. Uh, some the mobile batteries will charge there. I got my two DJI controllers there. This is one of those baskets that I showed um, a minute ago. It's where I'll store my battery cases, little battery bags, uh, so I can pull them off the uh, chargers, put them right into the bags, and then down into my main bag. Another one, this is one of those letter sorters that I showed. I uh, um, actually charged the Rode mics uh, in these, like the one I'm wearing right now. Um, we got LED panels, can put those there. Um, another uh, strip with some chargers for the Fuji, my smaller can in there. Uh, the Philips lights are plugged in on that next one. Uh, and then these cubbies here are generally for, what I'm using right now, are batteries that are currently charged. So I can put them uh, on this, shelf here or right up there and so I know these are all good to go and have made it kind of down the line. Um, the Philips Hue uh, light fixtures are up here. I've got them mounted to uh, kind of went with the uh, exposed piping type look. Uh, I'll link those on. I got those from Amazon. I'll link those down below as well and I brought that look over here to this shelving system as well and it kind of just has that neat industrial type look. So uh, this is like a, you can actually turn that into a four shelf system if you want to put one on top, but I've just got three. That was more than enough for me. So I can keep my cameras and lenses there. Uh, down here, I've got uh, my strobes, all Profoto 
uh, batteries that uh, I charge up when I'm in here or uh, before or when I get back from a shoot and then have to charge them up to uh, head out for another shoot. So everything is pretty nicely centralized and it makes a, uh, a neat showpiece. I actually had a shoot in here yesterday and uh, the folks that were in here were lo looking at everything and trying to see if they could uh, recreate something for their workspace as well. But all right, real quick, I just want to show uh, where I place the larger chargers and the ones that come with these bricks, uh, just because they take up a lot more space. So I just place them at, this is an Ikea uh, cubby kind of system. And so I've just placed them in here. Uh, to light these up, I got a couple of LEDs. These are motion activated LEDs, come with magnets on them off of Amazon. One in each one of these, uh, top boxes here. So I'll list those in the description below as well, but they're a pretty neat uh, little thing and so inexpensive, this stuff is crazy. All right, now back to the desk. All right, so I hope some of y'all can relate to what I was going through with batteries and chargers here and there and everywhere. And this post might uh, inspire you to uh, get yourself organized, put something cool together in your studio or garage or whatever space that might be where you kind of uh, bring in your cameras and your gear and put it off uh, to storage in between shoots. Um, but I just felt like, uh, well actually I didn't, this is not actually something I thought about even putting up, but I uh, put a story um, post up on my Instagram and kind of included that uh, on the story and it got so much uh, response that I just felt like I might as well put a video together for it. So any other questions or comments about it, please feel free to leave those down below. Uh, I will do my best to put links to everything uh, down there uh, and go check out Becky and Chris's channel. If you found this uh, video helpful, you know, hit that thumbs up for me. Also, if you want to see more content like this and all the previous videos I put up up to this point, uh, hit that subscribe button down there and that little bell there so YouTube will let you know when I'm back on here. You can also find me on social media at Quants Photo on Twitter and Instagram. You know, please stay safe and healthy out there. And I hope to be here again in the next one.